Kristen, hey, it's Mike over here at American Motorcycle Trading Company in Bedford, Texas. And I brought you back here to the warehouse because I wanted to show you the Dyna Street Bob. Sorry, the Dyna Fat Bob. This is the guy that we've been looking at here. It, it just rolled in, so it's back here buried in the, in the rest of these bikes. Um, it's in line to be serviced and way over there, somewhere over there is the head of the line. So it has a ways to go before it is going to be serviced and detailed. Uh, but again, as I was mentioning to you via text, if you decide this is the one you want, I can go ahead and expedite it by bumping it to the head of the line. Uh, just let me know how that goes. But I wanted to show you this thing to get you a little bit better idea as to its overall condition. So it turns out this is a bike that we bought uh, from the owner who was an older gentleman and uh, just wasn't riding it and it was kind of collecting dust as you can tell um, and just didn't get any use out of it. So, okay, what's next? I suppose we'll just sell it. So that's where we came into play here. Uh, we picked it up just the other day, brought it in on Saturday actually. Uh, and it has some nice features on it. Uh, the windshield's been added to it, the cup holder there, backrest is detachable for the passenger. And it has this really cool Two into one Vance and Hines exhaust system. I'll work my way over there. We'll take a look at it. It also has, as you mentioned, crazy low miles there, 4671. Fires up though, sounds great. So it has that Vines and Hines two into one performance exhaust with that screaming eagle high flow air intake. And it's actually not gloss black. You can kind of see the metal flake in there. It's a, it's a uh, black pearl. Really cool metallic black. But yeah, this guy's gonna get serviced and then all cleaned up. Our detail department's gonna get their hands on it. They're gonna have a project because this thing's pretty pretty filthy. You got some bug guts on there. And this windshield's kind of foggy from all the dust collected on it, but I cleaned it a, a, a bit here in the corner and you can kind of see how it's already starting to shine up. Right in here. So that cleaned off pretty well. So this thing's gonna look great when it's done. There are one or two small spots on this bike uh, that may not clean up too easily and I want to point those out just so you're clear right here on the front fork tube There's a little bit of rust pitting right there uh, And that rust we can kind of try to clean that up, but that's not really going to do much But fortunately, it's very small. It's not much to it on the other side. There's a little bit right there, too uh, There's a little bolt underneath the headlight here Has a little rust on it. But that's nothing crazy um, all the, the gunk that's on the forks and the fender and all that stuff, that stuff, this all comes off. That's just needs to be cleaned. The same with the tank here. I wiped off the left side, right side's still dirty. Also kind of started cleaning up the chrome with the polish cloth here. And it's just gonna take some elbow grease. So these boys in our detail department over here they're gonna have their work cut out for them but as far as the service goes we're gonna go through here and make sure the mechanics and everything are all sound we'll check things like fuel pressure uh, they're gonna check for make sure that everything lines up with the transmission properly uh, electrical system all that good stuff so they're really really thorough with it checking the tires the pads all that sort of stuff so I know she ain't pretty right now but it will be a really beautiful bike once it's done and hopefully it will help uh, replace the, the sad lost member of your family. So thanks for checking it out. <laughs>